<laughs> All right, time for burgers and beer. Perfect combination. We're gonna do actually a basic burger, pretty simple. Everybody has their own secret idea of what makes a great burger, but ours is kind of stripped down. Uh, it's just gonna be salt and pepper again, a little olive oil, but we're gonna add a little bit of cheese into the center. Now the secret, the big thing about burgers and the kind of the, the holy triangle of the burger making is you gotta cook it on a really hot grill and it's gotta be really, really juicy when you bite into it. So when the person gets it, it's just like yum, 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 not all dried out. That's true. And you gotta serve it hot too, nothing like a dried out cold burger. So the number one rule here is you've gotta not skimp on the preheating of the grill. Like get that sucker up to at least 500, go for gold, like go to 600 degrees if you want. I can't escape it. We're gonna rinse our hands in a little bit of cold water. That'll help the meat from sticking to your fingers and getting really messy. And actually, the big thing with burger is you wanna get a little bit of fat in there. Probably about 20% fat is good because if there's no fat, there's gonna be nothing to give it any flavor. People freak out and they go, ew, fat. But in burgers, gotta have the fat. Gotta, gotta have the fat. Because if you don't have that much fat, then the patties themselves actually fall apart on the grill. Don't slappity slappity the meat forever. And I'll cut off some cheese here. And you're gonna wanna sort of fold the meat around the cheese. Now the final little bit is just a little bit of seasoning. I can't escape it. Salt and pepper makes the world go brown. Well, the one thing about fat and burgers is when you cook them in a pan on your stove, the fat just sits there. But on the grill, of course, the fat just drips through. It lands on your flavorizing bars or whatever you've got on the bottom of your barbecue. Sear plates. Sear plates. Sear plates. Sear plates. Or lava rocks on the That's old right. style. On the barbecue. old style. And it evaporates, but you just get that smoky flavor of the fat. So it's much better. It's not sitting in the fat, but the fat gives it really, really great flavor. So it's going to come out anyways. It's that whole smoke thing. It basically... Okay, it's time for the burgers to go on the grill. Now these will take about inch and a half, inch patties will take about 10 minutes total. So about five, six minutes each side. Now the big thing with burgers is not to flip them and poke them and press them because all it's gonna do is squeeze all the juice out. Yeah, the worst thing to do is the big down press, like some people love doing that, I'm not sure why. But all that sound of that sizzling, it's all the moisture and juice coming out of the meat. Now you don't want that. Okay, the patties are on. Now I actually didn't do it, which is a little bit of a Barbecue Boys rule breakage there. I didn't oil the grate before I put, them, oh put it on. Oh my God, have you ever seen anything like that? Unbelievable. They just threw the meat straight on the grill there without prepping it. I've never seen anything like that since the playoffs in 1982. I mean, this is just a classic Barbecue phone mistake. Pong. I can't believe that. Like, he's just thrown the meat right on the grill. You think that they know how many times have they prepped the grill before? How many times do you think they've been told? Over and, and over and over, over again. again. But I, I mean, can't believe it. a break. We can prep a grill. No. Now, we don't have a TV show. No. What's what up the with hell that? are these jokers doing down there on the ground? They're with a grill in front of them. And not prepping got the grill. girls in the background, and they're not even prepping the grill. I don't understand it. Oh. The, 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 clearly the meat's gonna stick. Okay, clearly boss. the meat's not gonna taste right. Okay, boss, clearly the meat's gonna. Look, I just okay. can't take this anymore. Let's just get back to the action. Yeah. Why are we, why why are are we frickin' here? I don't know. Now, one thing I'm gonna do too is now I preheated the grate super hot. Now I've got the patties on. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, probably to like a medium high. Just three, like a quarter of a turn down on the burners. And that'll keep them from getting super hot and just drying the meat out. So I just brought the temperature down. But I wanna hear that really great sizzle sound when I put the patties on. And that's really gonna help give it that nice sort of charred look. Okay, these are getting close to done. Now, for burgers, you want them to, for temperature, to test done this, they should be about 160 degrees. That's kind of like the law, because burgers, they, they want to make sure they're well cooked, because there's all kinds of chances for E. coli and weird things like that. And you don't want to serve anybody an undercooked burger. 160 degrees could be a little, it's bordering on overdone for me. A little bit under is probably a little juicier, but you got to experiment. But we can't really say, serve undercooked meat, because then you could sue us. <laughs> 160 degrees is what you're looking for. You can use your instant read thermometer. 
and I'm right at medium, which was perfect. So actually, they're ready to come off. So what we're going to do just before that is we're going to do some bun action. Sort of about the last minute or 30 seconds of cooking time. And we take some melted butter, and we're going to brush that on the buns. And we're just going to slap those right on the grill. We're going to take our patties off. All right, the well, burgers are done. Here we Ready go. Ready to make a burger. More beer oh. for you. Cheers. Thanks. Uh, yep, no worries. Thank you. Now it's all about building the burger, isn't it? The trick is, is you've always got to build the burger from the bottom up. Yeah. Right. Crank. So we start with the bottom bun. Right there. Now, we've got to start with the lettuce. Now, the reason why we go to lettuce first is because the fluid from the tomato doesn't make the bun sort of all... Mush, mush, mush. Mush, mush, mush. Right. A lot of people make that mistake. Bit of pickle. Then you stick your burgers, your uh, patties on top. All right. Now, the big secret to this stuff is you've got to serve them hot, straight off the barbie, straight into the buns, straight into the mouth. You don't want them sitting around on a platter, just sort of sitting there getting cold, because, you know, basically, if you're in a barbecue situation and you've, the burgers are ready, get them off their lazy asses and come and eat right now. Because if you don't, they're going to taste like well, half-baked burgers. Exactly. So, cheers, man. I mean, how could you resist yeah, that? Look, a pretty that's damn pretty good, good looking burger. I'm pretty pleased. What do you reckon? More beer? Ooh. Beer, of course. That's the best part. Ding ding. And cheers. Cheers. Here's to the perfect burger. Perfect burger. Up your bum.